have done a lot of work with um, groups that involve patients. And um, to me, one of the biggest insights was that um, patient stories are um, incredibly powerful. Um, in particular, in this particular, in this um, 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 stakeholder dialogue, the patient story went a very long way and um, really brought um, the problem to the surface. One of the insights is certainly that um, um, one might consider that for certain topics, um, more of these patient stories, um, patient representation, more patient representation um, might help us better to tackle certain issues. Um, uh, with regards to insights and you know how this group um, actually evolved around the topic and how that um, the group um, um, identified some of the key issues, um, I thought it was helpful to once again have different um, these very different stakeholders in the room. Um, um, we were able to address the particular um, problem um, from really multiple um, points of view. Um, views um, um, and um, identified some very key issues with regards to, for instance, um, technology, better monitoring of um, um, patient well-being after surgery. Um, one of the other big insights was probably that um, we still need much better data um, to actually um, um, tackle the problem of interest. Um, that is some um, um, for instance, um, better perioperative mortality data um, to um, um, translate that into, once again, um, messages to the various stakeholders. Um, um, that was um, quite powerful, I thought. Well, I have a very specific agenda um, with regards to this stakeholder dialogue, and that is um, I have the, um, um, the Department of Health Evidence and Impact um, agenda on my mind, um, which is to develop research priorities and disseminate um, research priorities and research findings to the various um, um, various stakeholders once again um, that relates to identifying areas that would lead to funding opportunities um, obviously with um, um, fundamentally having the patient well-being at our heart so um, to me the next steps are really to see um, what areas were identified here that I can bring back to department faculty members and say, look, this is really what we need to concentrate, concentrate on um, in collaboration with the various um, groups that are both here at the university as well as some um, 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 those who want to collaborate on a provincial level.